Lord, let's bless the Lord, amen. 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 And I know we can do better than that, amen. amen. Sometimes I think we forget on why we are here, amen. Praise the Lord. That clap you just performed is all because of him. Sometimes we have to be mindful. Yes. Yes. That you are here only because of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That's enough to shout about. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The reason we live and move and how I be. Thank you. But without further ado, I want to, before I speak, give an honor to my heavenly father, yeah. to his son and his precious Holy Spirit. I would like to also recognize the elders and deacons, oh Lord, oh Lord. ministers, and yeah. uh, my ushers are absent, yeah. and all of uh, the most highest people. Yeah. I greet you all in divine love. Amen. 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 But if you have your Bibles, go with me to the book of Luke, all right. chapter 10. Verse 21 through 23. All right. Luke chapter 10, verse 21 through 23. We have to say amen. amen. This chapter has a lot of meat in it, but I just want to focus on uh, a couple of scriptures. Amen. amen. Listen what the word of God said. Okay. It says, In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in the spirit mm -hmm. and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and the prudent All right. and hast revealed them unto babes. Yeah. Even so, Father, mm -hmm. for so it seems good in thy sight. All things are delivered to me of my Father. Yeah. And no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And who the Father is but the Son. And he to whom the Son will reveal him. And he turned unto his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see things that ye see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Amen. Amen. The word of God is blessed. The Lord led me to ask the people a question. And I want to ask you this morning, okay. do you know him? Yeah. I know him. I know him. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless you and we thank you. We do come to glorify your name, O oh Lord. We pray that all is done, that you be satisfied, O oh Lord. Father, I ask for a fresh anointing, O oh God, and ask, O oh Lord, that your word uh, produce uh, one that want to be obedient unto you. Yes, Lord. Father, we pray right now that our hearts and our minds are stayed upon you, O oh Lord. Even in this hour, O oh God, I ask that you have your way. Yes. Remove me, O oh Lord, and let your people see who you are, O oh Lord. Father, we do thank you for this opportunity, and Lord, as we come to say thank you, Father, we just here to bless your holy name, O oh Lord, and Father, we just ask that the Holy Spirit come into this place, yes. have his way, O oh Lord, and we just thank you for your grace and mercy which you bestow upon us daily. Now, Father, I ask that you anoint me afresh. I ask, O oh Lord, that you open the minds and the hearts of your people. We ask that this word fall on good ground, O oh Lord. Father, we do thank you and we do love you. We give you praise and honor. It is in Jesus' name we pray. And the church say amen. amen. Do you know him? 
See, in order to know someone or something, there must be time well spent. Amen. Amen. So you don't just meet someone and automatically know who they are. All right. See, you can get to know someone. You, you can't get to know someone overnight. All right. In other words, if you find a man or a woman that you would like to spend the rest of your life with. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. You want that person to be your husband or your wife. But you haven't had time to get acquainted with them. Amen? I, yeah. I want you to know that nine out of ten times, that union will end in divorce. All right. Amen? Amen. All right. If you choose to date someone and you haven't had time to spend to get to know them, nine out of ten times, that relationship would end in breakup. All right. See, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen, but most of the time, those are just fairy tales. Yeah. People believe in love at first sight. But you cannot build chemistry with someone overnight. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. When you meet someone, you must spend time with that person in order to know them. You can't go by what you have heard. Yeah. All right. Amen? Yeah. But I want to say to you today that a a lot of information today has been regurgitated. Most of it wasn't even based on facts, but it's just you went by what you have been taught. Amen? Just like most of our knowledge of Christ, we was taught to love him. Amen? He was passed down from generation to generation. And nothing is wrong with that, but how can you love somebody and you don't even know them? Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> See, as people, as a people, we, 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 we can't seem to get along. But we say we love him, and you hate your brother, which you see daily. That, that it's always conflict. Amen. But, but, but Jesus put it plain and simple. He said that if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Amen. Amen. See, the world has told you that the commandments of God are, is a thing of the past. Uh -huh. But when Jesus himself said that I did not come to destroy the law or the prophet, uh -huh. but I came to fulfill. Yes. People of God, I want to let you know that when he said he came to fulfill the word of God, that means he came to obey. Yeah. All right. Amen. Y'all right. don't hear me. Yeah. All right. See, see, the world don't know. The world don't know him because they, they have a hard time accepting the truth. Yeah. yeah. To, to, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Many Christians. Oh, Lord. They don't know him either. Come on. Oh, Lord. Amen. All right. Come on. They, they say they model themselves after the way he walked and lived huh? and the way he did things. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But yet and still, you transgress his commandments. All right. Amen? Amen. Everywhere you go, there's some confusion. All right. All right. Always around a bunch of mess. Backbiting. Talking behind your neighbor's back. Amen? But these are the people who say that they believe Christ. Amen? People of God, we got to examine ourselves yeah. in the last days yeah. because Christ is near. Yeah. And these things he will not tolerate. Amen? Yeah. That's right. Somebody asked your neighbor, do you know it? Yeah. Look, looking quickly at our scripture. I won't be before you long today. All right. Here we see Jesus rejoicing in the spirit and giving thanks and making supplications uh -huh. to the Father. Amen? Yeah. The creator of heaven and earth. Yeah. And, and how he has hid the understanding and made it a mystery right. of, of his salvation to, to the, of the things of, of his knowledge and his kingdom to those who seem to be wise right. and intelligent in this world. Right. Amen. Yeah. Right. See, see, you have to become dumb to the knowledge of this, this kingdom. Yeah. Amen. Right. You got to understand that 
this world system is a kingdom. Yeah. And it is the kingdom of Satan. Come on, Amen. Yeah. So 95% of the things yeah. that is in this world is not of God. All right. Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Take your time. Come on. See, see, I, I don't want to bust people bubbles, but I want you to know that 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 that, that Christ, He took Jesus up in the mountains. And he tried to to get him to worship Him. Yeah. And He He said that I will give you these kingdoms. Uh -huh. Yeah. See, yeah. we have to understand that this is not the kingdom of God. Right. But we should pray that the kingdom of God will come here to this earth. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Now y'all ought to be shouting hallelujah. Yeah. See, God, knowledge, it, 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 it's going to contradict the, the world's knowledge or, or, or vice versa. Amen? God's views are different from this world. Man's wisdom is different from the wisdom of God. So this revelation has been hid from those who are proud. Those who are wise in their own eyes. Those who are afraid to admit when they're wrong. Right. Amen. Right. Those who want to admit that they made a mistake. Right. Amen. Amen. But the scripture says that he gives revelation to the babes. Amen. Amen. In other words, those who humble themselves. Come on. Come on. Come on. Those who become like little children. Yeah. Depending on his parents. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. See, the revelation don't come from man. Come man just has an opinion. Yeah. <laughs> the Bible says that he resists the proud yeah. and he gives grace yeah. unto the humble. Yeah. Ain't that what it says? Yeah. Hallelujah. But, but, but watch this. All right. He said, all things has been delivered to me of my father. Yeah. And no man know who the son is but the father. But the and who the father is but the but son. The son. And he will reveal to him. Amen. See, because all power and authority has been given to the Son. Notice he didn't say uh, to himself that he gave himself, but he said it was given to him by his Father. Amen. Hmm. So whomever the Son chooses to reveal something to, it is his prerogative. Amen. John 14, 6 says, no man no comes man. to the Father yeah. but by me. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. See, there's no way you can have a relationship yeah. with the Father without having a relationship with the Son. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had a witness up here. Yeah. See, there's no way you can know the Father without knowing the Son. Yeah. Amen. I want to share something with you. The Lord uh, gave me a, a dream. All right. And he said, the reason why people huh? are confused about the father and son relationship uh -huh. and, 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 and don't understand and can't make the distinction between the two right. is because the son never denied his father. All right. See, when you think about it, Christ always, always told the people to worship who? His father. He said, when you pray, you pray to the father. Our father. Amen. Yeah. Our father. Our which are in heaven. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear me. Right. See, 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 he didn't come to do his will, yeah. but the will of the Father. Yeah. He didn't yeah. come in his own name, yeah. but the name of the Father. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. See, the words he, that were spoken, that wasn't his words. All right. Amen. But well, watch this. He never told you that he was the Father. All right. He never told you that he was the father, but he told you that we are one. Yeah. It's just like a, a, a married couple. When you are joined together in a union, yeah. you become one flesh. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Y'all still with me? Yes, sir. Verse 23. He said, he turned unto his disciples and said privately, blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and have not heard them, them things which you hear, amen? Have not heard them. You have not heard them, amen? See, see, what it is, there's a lack of expectancy in the body of Christ. 
See, people, they, they, don't, they don't believe that God is able. Come on, God. They don't believe in miracle signs and wonders. Yeah. But God clearly said that all uh, things, uh, anybody that believes the miracle signs and wonders shall follow him. Right. Amen? Amen? See, you have to desire things. If you want to see a healing, you have to desire it. Right. Amen? Just like if you was going for a career, if you want to become a lawyer, if you desire that thing, that thing will come to pass. Amen? I seen people where they desired to be the, the, the biggest kingpins in the street, and they became the biggest kingpin in the streets. So, so why the, the, the children of God can't desire to be Holy Ghost filled? Amen? Why we can't desire to walk in His power? See, one thing about it, the Bible says that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. See, he didn't change. Your belief did. Amen? Somebody say, do you know it? Ask them, do you know it? I, I, I want to give you three points on three individuals that the Lord would choose to reveal things to. Three individuals that the Lord would choose to reveal things to. And number one is them that have a personal relationship. Right. See, can I tell you that, that God wants to reveal to you things that have been hidden. Things that have been spoken in the dark behind closed doors. See, it's things that once was a mystery. And if you understand the word of God, the, the, the enemy tried to hide certain things. He, uh, God's word became that mystery because the lack of truth wasn't circulating. Yeah, all right. Truth wasn't circulating and the lie had taken over. Amen? Amen. But, but, but now things are being known. See, God is allowing the lies to be exposed. Yes, He's allowing all false prophets, people who claim to know and love him, but their deeds are wicked. He allowed them to be exposed. See, the Bible says that your sins shall find you out. Look at somebody say, you can run, but you can't hide. See, see, the truth is being revealed in these, in these latter days. He, he, he said, like, things that are going on, amen, he's going to bring to the, to the light, amen. But he wants to reveal to us these things. But some of us will miss it because we feel like we already got it. Amen? Amen. But when you understand that Satan is the prince of this world, yes, right. the prince of this kingdom, right. you have already been deceived. All right. So that's why the truth is being revealed. Amen? Amen? God said it shall flood the earth like the sea. In other words, he's going to bring truth forth to all them who were here. Yes. Amen? Amen. Because he, we serve a God who constantly revealing secrets. Yeah. He said he does nothing without revealing his secrets unto his prophets. Amen. But these things are only for those that have that relationship. Amen. He's going to reveal himself on a level to you that you have never even seen before. Oh, thank you, Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Let, let, me, let me tell you about what the book of Isaiah chapter 52 verse 6 says. Come on. He said, therefore my people shall know my name. Therefore they shall know me in that day that I am he that do speak. Behold, it is I. Amen. So in other words, God is going to reveal himself in the latter day. See, so you think you know it. But it's so much more to it. Amen. It's so much more to it. See, the things that you thought you knew will be a thing of the past. Because no one is here uh, 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 here is part of the past but of the future. Yeah. You are here on purpose. Yeah. You have been chosen for this moment. Yeah. You have been granted an opportunity to repent. Yes. To break those on God's cycles. Yes. Those lies. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. See, see yeah. many of us don't even know why the Messiah truly came. Uh -huh. And they don't even know why he's coming back. Amen? Amen. You, you say you know him, 
But, but you don't know his true purpose. All right. Well, let me enlighten you on today. All right. Amen. All right. See, Christ is coming to redeem, to restore, and regather Israel. All right. Ain't that what the Bible says? Right. He said he's going to redeem, re restore, and regather Israel from the four corners from which they were scattered. All right. And they were scattered because of their rebellion. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But it became a mystery because he was sold to you through religion. Uh. It's quiet and you talk to him, I talk back now. I, 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 I think I'm gonna say it again. See, it was a mystery to you because he was sold to you through religion. See, religion is designed to keep you asleep. Amen. When when Paul said it's time to wait. From your slumber, what do you think he was talking about? Right. He knew that in the latter days that religion would be one of the things that would of this system that would keep people asleep. Right. See, you can't have a true relationship with the Father through religion. Because religion will lead you to the road of tradition and will ultimately drop you off at idolatry. Y'all, 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 y'all. Y'all don't have it. John 4, 24 said, God is a spirit, and those that worship him must do it in spirit and in truth. Yeah. So, so how is you glorifying him through tradition is he being made, uh, glorified? Wow. How can you glorify God in man-made traditions and religions? Wow. When he told you that he that worship me must do it in spirit and in truth. Yeah. Come on. Sister Mac, we talked about the, the yeah. different uh, religions earlier. Yeah. Come on. And, I, and I told them that all religions have truth. Yeah. But they was man-made. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. All right. They wasn't ordained by God. Yeah. All right. God gave his people's laws, statutes, and commandments, yeah. which the world tell you that you don't have to follow. All right. And you wonder why the world is upside down. Oh Lord. Right. Wow. Oh Lord. Man. You wonder why these laws are being passed to overthrow the, to try to overthrow the kingdom of God. Because Satan is the prince of this world. And I'll let you know that, you know, he, he has a little conversation with your government. Amen. Yeah. He, he, yeah. He, he, he has a relationship with your, with your government. But through religion, people fall asleep. Amen. You think just because you attend church on Sundays that you're saved. Just because you listen to the Bible study every Wednesday night, you in right standing with God. Because you have some type of biblical studies under your belt, you think you have secured a place in the kingdom of God. Just because your family had told you about him, don't make your relationship with him bad. Amen. That's why this thing is called personal. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And, and when something is personable, personal, it is near and dear to your heart. Yeah. So, so if you knew him, yeah. if you knew him, yeah. it's just some things you wouldn't do. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. See, see, nobody don't have to, to tell you not to, to commit adultery. Yeah. Right. You, you, you love the law. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Nobody will have to tell you that you shouldn't lie, cheat, or steal. Right. You love the law. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody say, do you know it? Do you know Number two. Huh? Those who desire to please him. Those that who desire to please him. <laughs> yes, Lord. When you desire something, you seek after it with your whole heart. Come on, yes. It becomes very important unto you, amen? Yes. And, and many times you are willing to make sacrifices. All right. That's that word yes. that a lot of yes. believers yes. don't want to accept. I got, I, got, I got to give it up. I got to give the streets up. I got to, I got to give the club up. I got to give the drinking and the smoking. Well, whatever you believe. Whatever you believe. Whatever that is holding you 
from seeking him with your whole heart. You have to give it up. Amen. See, they, they will make these sacrifices to achieve their goals. And, and, and most people work hard uh, uh, at whatever they're trying to accomplish yeah. to see that goal come to pass. Yeah. See, many will, will lie. They, will, they will, will deceive you. They will steal just to get ahead. Yeah. Amen? Amen? And it, it's all about self-gratification yeah. in this world. Amen? Amen. And, and, and the, the pleasing of oneself. Yeah. Can I tell you that this generation is all about self-will. Oh, yeah. It's all about what I can do. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. They forget about God. You ever notice when you see the people, especially in the education system, when they get up and receive their award after they graduated, nobody said, thank you, Lord, for this, this moment and this opportunity. Uh -huh. yes. Why? Because they believe they've done it all themselves. That's why God says that the wisdom of man is foolish to him. Yes. Amen? Amen. They believe since, that, that since I, I'm happy with my own life, God should be as well. Not realizing that nothing you, that nothing you have belongs um, to you. Not even your life. See, I want, I want to speak to you today. See, with him, all things are possible. But I want to let you know that every atheist, every Buddhist, every Muslim, every Christian, whatever religion you belong to, just know it is through the living God that you live, move, and have your being. I, I want you to know that you have been bought uh, with a price. Every born again believer, you have been bought with a price. So, so why not desire the one who gave you life? Why not honor the one who, who placed the, the air in your lungs? He allowed you to breathe. This is what he told Israel. You serving gods that can't speak. They can't walk. They can't save. They can't deliver you. But you would rather serve them. Yeah. See, it's only right that yeah. God be, be, be a jealous God. Yeah. Because uh, I gave you life. I created yeah, you. Yeah. But you worship the house and you worship the car. Yeah. 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 Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Why, why not reverence the one who allows your heart to be? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. See, these are questions we got to ask ourselves daily. Our daily. Amen. See, our God is a jealous God. We know, we know that he created everything. Yeah. He would not accept anything. Oh. Amen? Amen. He has a right to be angry. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. He's the one that allowed you to, to be here in this service this morning. Yes. Oh. And if it's his will, you will be allowed to see the next service. Yes. But it's not promised. Yes, Amen. Amen. See, see, you you got to get in the place where you are totally dependent on Him. Yes. And 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 as a man of God, I can tell you that in the latter days, you will begin to see things that you that won't make sense to you. Yes. Sister Mac, that's what we were talking about earlier. These things are going to increase, yes. and if you don't have no faith, yes. you're gonna back up like an eight leg. Yes. Amen. Amen. You're gonna get the running from that little faith that you had. Yes. Amen. So God said, trust me, depend on me. Yeah. That's why he said in Proverbs 3 and 5, he said, yeah. he said, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thy own understanding, yeah. but all thy ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Yeah. Thank you, Lord God. See, people want to, you know, call this thing a, a, a doom and gloom. Yeah. Man, you don't understand. God is a righteous judge. Yeah. Whatever you sow, that shall you reap. Yeah. Amen. Whatever you sow, that shall you reap. But we ought to be glad that the one that come before the destruction. He always sent a word to Israel. Turn back. Amen. Turn back. Come back to me. Let the pagan and the heathen have their God. See, you, are, you only knew one God. Only one God. Yes, Israel yes. only knew one God. Only one. But the pagans worship multiple gods. Yes. That's the difference. Yes. And he's telling us today to turn, come yes. back. Yes. Amen? Yes. I, 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 I want to let you know that 
that the, the same thing that they did then they're doing today, they just have different names. The same festival you celebrate today was the same festival back then, but they just had different names. I know, I know somebody ain't gonna like it, but it is what it is. God commanded you to rest on a certain day. He didn't need that rest, you did. Amen? You ought to be rejoicing for a day of rest. But they, instead, they go down your throat when you talk about the, uh, keeping the Sabbath. Yeah, make right. it make sense. Yeah. Yeah. He told you to rest because he knew you were going to need to rest. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Amen. 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 He created everything in, the, in, the, in those days he did. He didn't need to rest. All right. But he did it for you. All right. Oh, Lord God. He knew that body was going to need a re recharge. Amen. That's right. That's right. I'm just here to make you think. Amen. Thank you. Re remember when, when Potiphar's wife tried to, to uh, uh, seduce Joseph and the yeah. scripture says he fled. Yeah. See, that's one of them things you have to do when you're a true believer. Yeah. No, no, no matter how. That's, yeah. That temptation is strong, but, but you, if you love God, yeah. if you really and truly love God, because sometimes you can make that mistake and be back down the same road. Amen? Right. Amen. Right. But I know his mercy endures forever. Yeah. But as believers, we got the desire to please God. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And then she wanted to use that, that piece of that coat when he ran as evidence to say that he violated her. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. Now, now Joseph was thrown in prison where yeah. he found favor. Yeah. And he was promoted from, from uh, uh, prisoner to prime minister yeah. overnight. See, God can make some things happen uh, right now or tomorrow. Amen? Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen? See, I wish I had a witness of it. He would turn tragedy into triumph. Yeah. Amen? Victory, uh, victim into victory. Yeah. Amen? Prosperity and poverty. Yeah, yeah. Amen? Yeah. See, he has told us how to access these things. And let me tell you, Psalms 37, 4 said, if you delight yourself in him, he will give you the desires of your heart. In other words, make him your priority. Begin to seek the things of God. Begin to want what he has planned for your life. The only time people get excited about God is when you're about to do something or have done something in their lives. Can we be honest? It, most of the day, people walk around don't think twice about God. But when that situation comes, when that trouble comes, when that, that rent comes, you can't pay it. When that car notes do. Amen. When that children, the children have went a, 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 a astray. Amen. When that sickness hit their body. Amen. Now you want to call on the Lord. So you got to rejoice in him uh, 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 daily. Amen. That's why, that's why the Bible says, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. I always had a witness up in there. Yes, Lord. I will bless the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> they are more excited about the blessing than the one who gave it to them. All right. Not realizing what he has already done. Yeah. As a matter of fact, there's nothing he can do or give to you yeah. what he has done over 2,000 years ago. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Somebody asked him, do you know it? Do you know it? My third and final point. All right. Hallelujah. Come on. The third point is that he chose them that have a love for the truth. Oh, all right. Okay. See, the reason truth is so hard to swallow <laughs> is because you've been living a lie for so long. Come on. Mm, mm, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get you to understand that it's easy to be taught something, but it's hard to unlearn. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. See, Amen. once you have, you know, have done something for so long, it's, it's, it becomes like a habit It's hard to break. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. But when you know the scripture told you that you have an enemy and that he has already deceived yes, you, yes, why is it so hard to, to understand that what you think you know may be a lie. Uh -huh. See, now don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Being taught certain things, it, it, it does influence the way we think. Uh -huh. 
But in reality, it's because the truth is life altering. See, when you find out that truth, now you got to make a decision. That's why a lot of people don't want the truth. I just rather stay where I'm at. Amen. Because the Lord said, when you know better, you do better. So how can you say you know him and you know the truth and you're not living it? You're not walking it. It is a, a, a life-altering decision. Yes. And many times in my life, I know uh, some things that I, I, I try to uh, do and, and I understand, and I don't want a, a part of it. All right. Because I love the Lord. Yes. And because I feel I know Him. Yes. Amen? Amen. So I, I, I just don't understand why people get so upset about certain things when you know that is not, and some people still, they know and still do, do it uh, the opposite. Yes. Oh, Amen? You have them kind. Yes. Amen? Yes. And once you have become comfortable in, in, in certain ways of living, see, it, like I said, it's just like that habit. Yes, sir. It, 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 it becomes harder to pray. Yes, sir. Amen? Amen. It's become harder to pray. But, but once you have the knowledge of the truth, oh, it, it shouldn't be up for debate. All right. Why are you going back and forth with someone when they showing you in the scripture? Yeah. All right. yeah. But you love the Lord. Sister Mac, you said that you just take it all for what it is. You read for what, what it says. Amen. 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 And, when, and when you find out something uh, uh, that you always believe and it may not be true, you shouldn't have that problem with making it right. Amen. You shouldn't have that problem. See, sometimes it's not that you didn't know better, but you just chose not to do better. Yeah. It's a choice. You chose. Amen. You chose. Just because you didn't know, or, or just because you haven't heard about it, doesn't make it uh, not true. See, I, I want to share another a story with you, and I'm I'm not real sure if I have it exactly the right way it was told, but I'm, I'm just trying to prove a point. And you may have heard this story. Uh, or not, but I just want to say, uh, uh, share this with you. Uh, uh, there was a story about a young lady, um, and she always would, would watch her uh, her grandma cook. Amen. And uh, but the granddaughter would always watch her uh, cook time after time, but uh, she would uh, prepare a ham or whatever you 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 want to call it, whatever it is. But, but the granddaughter noticed that the grandma would always cut the ham in half before putting it in the pan. Come on. And she would always throw the other half out. But instead of the granddaughter asking, Grandma, why are you throwing out the other half? She just assumed that this was right because grandma did it. Amen. 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 But 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 the, the reason grandma would throw out the other half is because her pan wasn't wasn't big enough. All right. All right. Come on. People of God, the moral of this story is just just because you haven't seen it or, or, or done that way or or the only way you know to do it doesn't always make it right. Amen. But instead of trying to find out why grandma did what she did, automatically, she automatically assumed that it was right, not knowing that grandma was just working what she had. Amen. She was just working with what she had. But what you have to understand is that mama or grandma may not always be right. Watch this. In 2 Thessalonians 9 through 12, Paul talks about how the lawless one. We will we'll have great power to do all kinds of counterfeit miracles and deceptive signs and false wonders and lies. Yeah. And, and many will perish and they, they, had, they did not have the love for the truth. Yeah. It, it, he said God himself will send a strong delusion yeah. and they will be misled and they, they, so they can believe that lie yeah. so, so that they may be judged. Amen. For, for those that believe not the truth because they had pleasure in unrighteousness. So in other words, all those who will never come to the truth, those are the people that will be affected by the strong delusion. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah. Amen. Because their heart wasn't fixed on truth, but it was fixed on their on pleasures and lies. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say you have to love the truth. You have to love the truth. You have to love the truth. Amen. Yeah. So finally, my brothers and sisters, as I try to close, when you have a personal relationship, when you truly, truly know our Father, yeah. He's going to reveal things to you. He will not leave you in the dark. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, so don't be surprised when you get to seeing things that contradict what you have always believed. As I stand before you today, it's many things that I have once believed. Oh, Lord. Now my mind has changed. Oh, but I want you to understand huh? that we, we talked about the depths of the heart. If somebody tells you something that doesn't align with the word of God, oh, Lord. sometimes it's not intentional. Yeah. It's just what he or she been taught. Yeah. Amen. 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 <laughs> but I want you to understand also that if somebody come to you and it's something you have never heard, what I want you to do is pray about it. Yeah. Study it for yourself. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Don't just turn it down because you don't know nothing about it. Yeah. That person could be sent to save your soul. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. Mm. When, when you desire to please him, when you have the love for the truth, nothing will be hid from you. Because his desire is that we all repent and come to the knowledge of truth. Right. Yeah. I, I, I believe we are living in the time of revelation. Yeah. Not, not only that prophecy is being fulfilled, but people are starting to understand what they read. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Watch what the book of Daniel says, chapter 12, 4. He says, Daniel, shut up the words. Seal the book. Uh -huh. Even to the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. When I, when I hear people quote this scripture, they talk about like uh, God was talking about uh, cars driving themselves. Airplane, God can give care less about a car driving itself. What he's talking about, the knowledge of his word. That's why you better be mindful when you hear things that you haven't heard. Y'all uh, don't, don't, don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. See, knowledge will be increased. See, I, I hear people talking about uh, new doctrines in the last days. See, See, it's, it's not a new doctrine. It's just a level of truth that you haven't been exposed to. Oh Amen. Amen. But, but when you understand that, that you have been deceived by, in this world, and you have been walking in deceit since the beginning, and, and God is going to clean it up. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Open the eyes and the ears of them that, that, that can see and that will see and yeah. that will hear. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. See, you can't tell truth seekers. Have you ever heard of truth seekers in the day? Because they, they, they have a personal relationship. Thank Why? You. Because I desire to please them. Right. I, I desire the truth. Right. Amen? Amen? See, you, you just can't run by and tell me anything. Yeah. <laughs> See, I know, I, got, I know how to study. I know how to go yes, research. Yes, sir. Amen? Yes, sir. And, and as I said before, just because uh, uh, someone tells you something, it doesn't mean it's intentional. Because God is going to put that person on the right track to give him the truth. Yeah. Amen? Amen? The Holy Spirit's job is to clean up all the lies. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. Amen? Amen? See, they, see they, they have a love for the truth. People, they are hungry. They desire more. People are tired of the hand-me-down, yeah. the watered-down gospel. Amen? Amen? See, the gospel is more than prosperity. That's right. But the word prosperity has been mishandled in itself. All right. Amen. Amen. See, you, you, are, you are prosperous if your kids are doing well. Yes. You are, you are prosperous if, if, if you have the word of God. Yes. Yes. You, you are prosperous if, if your, your, your marriage is good. Yes. Amen. You yes. are prosperous if you still have your health. Yes. Yes. You, you are prosperous if your family is still yes, in sir. connect together. Yes. Amen. As I stand before you today as a, as a man of God, yes. or as they say back in the, 
in, in, in the, the, uh, the book, the, the prophet. And I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is a true prophet not only speaks the blessings of God, but he also speaks correction. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? That's right. Amen? Because what, what are you going to do when, when all this, this, this chaos come upon this earth? Is your house and your car going to protect you? You better have love of the Father, amen? You better have the faith of your Father, amen, to deliver you, amen? See, a true prophet, he, he, don't, he don't speak just, just blessings, he, he speaks correction. Yeah. Jeremiah wept for Israel because he knew yeah. what would befall them if they didn't repent. Yeah. Matthew 4, uh, uh, Jesus said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't come say, I'm going to give you this, I'm going to give you that. He said, repent. Yeah. Amen? amen? You better get on the train, amen? amen? Because he know that's the only way. The only, the only way, way that you inherit the kingdom. Yes. Amen? See, when you know him, you know that, that, that you, you, you have to carry that cross. Yes. When you know him, you know you will suffer yes. uh, for his name's sake. Yes. Amen. See, blessed are the prophets before you. Yes. Amen? Amen? You're going to suffer persecution just like the prophets. Uh -huh. Amen? Yeah. See, see, I used to think that if, if I just follow Christ, then my life would be easy. Uh -huh. but, but, but I learned that, that, that the more I trust him, the more trials come my way. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Right. See, see, but, but he didn't promise me that I wouldn't go through nothing. Right. But he promised that I would. He would always be there. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. He promised that he would always be by my side. Yeah. That's right. And, I, and I, I, I come to understand that that, that Christ yeah. said if he said if, if if they hate you just know they hated me first. That's right. See they, they just start hating you first, they hated Christ first. Amen. Amen? Amen. So now that I, I got the memo because of what I believe, I have to prepare to go to war on a daily basis. Yeah. See when you when you truly know him, the enemy will bring it bring all of what he has to, to get you to turn back. The, the more word you have is the more stable you will become. Yeah. That's why people continue to fall because they have no solid foundation. Amen. The foundation uh, represents a true relationship. Amen. See, I'm not saying that you won't make a mistake, but you won't stay there. Because you know him. Because you desire him. Because you love the truth. See, see, I, I don't know about you, but I'm glad that he didn't leave me in that dark place. Thank you, Lord. I'm, glad. I, I, I'm, I'm glad that he didn't let me die by the, 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 the bullets of the police. Amen. I'm, 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 I'm glad that he, he picked me up and he turned me around and placed my feet on the solid ground. Amen. I'm, I'm glad that he gave me a float when I was in that water, when I couldn't swim, amen? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he is the light unto my path, amen? He, I'm glad that he is my strength, oh God. I'm glad that he is my song in the mornings when I get up, amen? I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I, I know him for myself as, as my Lord and Savior. I'm glad that my grandma taught me about him, but now I have a personal relationship. I'm glad that my family members can tell me to, to, to go astray from his word. I'm glad that I don't look to nobody but my Lord and Savior. I'm glad that I know that man wisdom is not uh, uh, what I need in my life. Amen. I am glad that he saved me. He made a way. Gave me a way to escape. And it's through our Lord and Savior. Yeah. No man come to the Father unless it's through his Son. He will put in place, y'all. He will put in place. I don't care how much you give. I don't care how much you say you love. I don't care how much you feed the need and the hungry. But if you don't know the Son, it's all in vain. Because if it was that simple, he wouldn't have had to come. But I want to tell you that he loved you so much that he gave the only begotten. And whosoever believes in him, you shall not perish, but have everlasting life.